So guys, I just woke up and um, so the, every day, um, Monday through Saturday, I wake up and run because during this quarantine, like that's really the only interesting thing I can do. But um, yeah, so pretty much it. So guys, look at my new setup. Look at so this is my mic right here, um, and then there's my light. So when I talk, like my my lens is gonna be like zoomed in like this, so then you can't see it. And then when I talk, then it's gonna be like really good audio. So yeah, and then this is where I'm gonna set up my camera, and then this is my mic, and then yeah. Oh shit, ah. So I got back from a run, it was like a five mile run. Um, I think I went like a little bit too quick on like the first couple miles because now my leg is starting to hurt again like pretty bad but um, but I'll probably take tomorrow off or maybe just do a really slow recovery. I'm really glad that I'm actually finally coming back because um, yeah I was out for a whole year for running and I'm finally back so it's it's feeling better a little bit better now and um, like a couple days ago I did like six miles at like 553 pace. So that's actually pretty good for me. And um, but today I just did it at a 628 for s five miles. Cause it was more like, like my first couple miles were like at like a five. My first mile was a 550. Then my, the first couple miles were pretty quick and then the last three were pretty slow. So first, let me take a shower and then I'll get to what this video is really about. Now that I'm out of the shower, I could talk about um, what I was going This main video. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Now I can talk about the main thing of this video. Mia. Hey, Mia. Want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi. So cute. By the title of this video, you know what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm just getting right into it. So as you guys know, I have Crohn's disease. Um, if you don't know what that is because I made a video like two years ago on it, like a 15 minute video on it. But um, I'll tell you, it, it's like, um, I'll tell you the exact definition. It's a chronic inflammatory bowel disease that affects the lining of the digestive tract and it's rare. There's fewer than 200,000 cases per year. It's an autoimmune disorder. So my immune system like pretty much just attacks myself. So it doesn't know what the bad stuff and what the good stuff are. Um, I have to take infusions every eight weeks which is medicine, they put it in my arm, and then um, I get an IV in my arm every eight weeks, a nurse comes to my house, and they um, pump like the uh, medicine. It takes about three hours to fully go through my system because they don't wanna do it too quickly, because if they do it too quickly, then I can have serious side effects like really quickly, or I can, I can react like pretty bad to it. I'm also on like um, pills too, like I have to take four pills a day, uh, like 500 milligrams of each and um, two in the morning two at night um, Crohn's disease you're more susceptible to depression so I have depression like when I first got diagnosed I was um, with Crohn's disease um, first I was in the hospital for three days like tr waiting for an answer and I finally got an answer after like all these um, tests and um, and in procedures and stuff, I finally got an answer and that I had Crohn's disease. And um, just like, I don't know why, but after that, I just like, that summer I was like really depressed and I, I like, like hated life and I wish I wasn't there. And it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, but it was still bad at the time. Like I just couldn't get out of bed. Um, I was like every, like every day was a drag. Like it's horrible. Like. School was horrible, everything. We're now we're at summer 2019. Um, so this was probably literally the worst I felt. And I was hiding it from my parents. Um, I was I mean, I wasn't really hiding it, but I wasn't like, um, I, I didn't think I needed help or anything. And I was just like, so like stressed and like depressed that like, I just wanted things to end like really badly. And I went like, it was so bad that like I wanted to shoot myself and I planned it out and everything 
and um, I actually was thinking about get, like going in, like getting a gun and shooting myself in the head like that day. And I don't know, I don't even remember what stopped me from it. Definitely the worst, like one of the worst days of my life because um, I literally just didn't want to feel anymore and I just really wanted to get every, like I just wanted everything to be done. I didn't want to be here anymore. And I just, I, I like hated life. So yeah, this was um, one of the main causes too um, why I was depressed. It was because my leg, my leg has been hurting for over a year and a half and I missed cross country camp that summer because my leg was hurting so bad. I was so mad that I missed cross country camp um, because like literally cross country and track was like everything to me. Running was literally everything to me and it is everything to me. And I just like, I just lost it because I, I couldn't run and that's like my stress reliever and like kind of my antidepressant. My parents started to see that I was like crying a lot and um and that I like um texted one of my friends and was saying all the stuff I'm saying right now and I was like saying like I hate life and stuff and I told this person that I um I told this person that I w what I wanted to do to myself. And then this person told her parents and then told my mom and then um, this person actually like really saved me and I'm really thankful for that. So that I finally got the help I needed. Um, I am I started going to therapy September. Yeah, I went to therapy in September and then um, I went every week. Um, and it actually, at first I hated it. Literally that gave me so much anxiety. But like, trust me, it's worth it. Like just, in the beginning it's horrible but then it gets a lot better and um yeah so I realized it actually started to help me a little bit and then um I started going on medication I actually started to feel a lot better and it's it's it started to get like a lot better like I'm actually I did not believe how like I couldn't believe how like quickly it got better like it, it was a matter of like maybe six months like th like it took six months and I actually like improved a lot I mean I still I still feel like bad sometimes I mean it's I'm you're always gonna feel bad but like it's not even close to what it was before and I'm actually better now and it, every, it gets better it gets better it definitely does if you get the help you need if you get the medication it definitely gets better because you can't you can't do it alone like you can't it's just it's it's not gonna go end well if you do it alone so I've been dealing with depression for probably two years now maybe three since I've been diagnosed um, and it's it's been it's been a long road <laughs> and um, every day is a struggle for like going to school all my anxiety in class just going up to turn into papers like ex like gives me so much anxiety like I get so red <laughs> like every time like I just do the little things or like say I get a wrong answer or something I like think everyone like doesn't respect me anymore just because of that even though yeah it just doesn't make any sense but yeah you know um so yeah what I'm trying to say is if you you can't do it alone you have to get help like if you ask for help, it will, it's gonna get better. Trust me, it's gonna get better. It's gonna it's gonna be hard at first, but it's gonna get better. And you just have to like really push through. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry this was kind of more of like a downer thing, a downer video. But then I kind of lifted it back up at the end. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I helped some people out. That's what I'm kind of trying to do. And it does get better. Like trust me. I literally was at the worst place. I wanted I wanted to commit suicide like I wanted to. But I was literally at the worst place and now like look at me. I'm I'm pretty good now. Like my legs better. I'm running like I'm running like sub 5 now and I'm I'm just like feeling a lot better now. I'm getting the therapy I need and yeah, so doing better. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um subscribe for more videos. 
and tell me if you want me to do more of these talking videos and thank you thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing i have 615 subscribers now and yeah so i'm doing pretty good 120,000 views now in total 75,000 on my bus cut video and yep so thank you guys so much for watching and bye